Hello and welcome back to Sunday Morning Coffee and Games. It's been a while. It's been a long while since we have done this. And uh, yeah, I've kind of missed it. And it's, oh, it's, it's a little weird to record. It's kind of uh, tough to fit in throughout the day because I got a lot to do at work and other stuff with YouTube. But I wanted to do this because uh, we were playing Lord of the Rings today and I wanted to test out a deck we built on stream and I'm just testing it out and it's against, um, what scenario is this? The Oath, the Oath scenario, so it's a bit easier of a scenario, hopefully, we'll see. But I just wanted to test this out because I will be live streaming this on the upcoming Tuesday from you watching this. Um, if you're watching this much later on, then I don't know. Maybe I'm still live streaming on Tuesdays, but I'm going to be playing Lord of the Rings then and uh, yeah, so basically that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we'll run through the gameplay and all that fun stuff, and there will be um, maybe some rules mistakes, and if there are, just put them down in the comments. I appreciate that, so it helps other people out. I'll try my best for there to be none, but, you know, these things happen. So, anyway, I'm excited to do this. The deck list will be down in the description if you want to check that out, and, uh, yeah, let's pop down the table, and uh, let's just let's just start playing. All right, here we are. We are mostly all set up. The one thing we had to do is search the encounter deck for one copy of the Eaves of Mirkwood which is right here. Um, the Eves of Mirkwood and Goblin Troop, which I put out of play up here. Goblin Troop's the other one. Uh, add the Eves of Mirkwood to the staging area. This is going to be our staging area up here and put the Goblin Troop aside out of play. So we're going to put that up there so I don't confuse it. And then we shuffle the encounter deck. So we're good to go. Um, for those that don't know Lord of the Rings and how it plays, because I know I do a lot of Marvel Champions on here, um, hopefully you'll get the rough idea. The first round or two, I'll kind of go like slowly through things um, and hopefully it makes a lot of sense. But to start off with, you just shuffle in those icons right here that show um, what like decks get shuffled in. So it's the main one is Goblin's deck. So that gets shuffled in and we just, we just do that. As far as these dials, uh, this one's going to track questing points. This tracks my total threat. If all three of my heroes die or my threat hits 50, I lose the game. As simple as that. I have to quest through the main quest to like succeed. And there's, uh, I think, three quests in this one, or three main quests. So I have to go through each one. This deck is a dual sphere deck, but it's going to have a lot of weird cards in it that you might be wondering how is he possibly going to play. And you're going to learn that Elrond and Vilya is the most crazy combo in the game. Um, but we're going to, we're just, we're going to, we're going to probably kind of exploit it. Not going to lie. <laughs> Not going to lie. Let's put that there. Um, okay, and yeah, so we'll go through the rounds, we'll go through the turns, and we'll explain everything, but that's the general just as far as winning and losing. So, shuffle the encounter deck, we now flip this up, um, there's nothing on this side, so we'll just read the, the text for the story. Uh, marauding goblins have raided a woodman village on the eaves of Mirkwood Forest. The goblins killed the guards and took many of the villagers captive. Those left behind beg you to rescue their loved ones. Alright, so now the main quest, I have to hit... On this side, it shows nine quest points, so we'll keep track, like I said, of the quest points with that one. You swear an oath to the survivors that you'll rescue the captured woodmen and bring justice to the goblins who attack them. When you or Then you enter Mirkwood Forest to find their trail. All right, cool. So, the way mulligans work in Lord of the Rings is you start with six cards. Also, I should note that my 35 threat starts because each one of my heroes at the very top here has a number. So, it's 13, 12, and 10. If you add all those up, it's 35 threat. Right. Uh, that's important later. We'll get into that. Why? Um, but you'll, you'll see as we go along. So you start with six cards drawn in Lord of the Rings. Um, and the way you mulligan is if you don't want those six cards, you shuffle them back in and draw six new ones. And then that six new ones is the ones that you would keep. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We have to mulligan hard for Vilya, which is a ring, um, which we did not get. We got some decent cards, but we didn't get Vilya, unfortunately. So we're going to mulligan this and hopefully get Vilya right away. If not, it's gonna, we got some work to do. We got some work to do, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. There are seven phases in this game, and there's a lot of action windows. I will say on BGG, they have a sheet of paper that looks like this. All the green is action windows where you could do things. Learning action windows in this game is kind of clutch um, and it takes time it takes a lot of time to learn them but it is important to learn so let us everything shuffle up and let's draw our new six so one two three wait one two three four five six all right uh still no villia and unfortunately got steward of gondor which is really bad okay 
That's all right. We'll figure that. So the way the, the first phase starts is the resource phase. So resource phase is pretty simple. Everyone gets a resource and you use these resources to pay for cards. Um, so we're going to put one onto each and every one of them. And then we also get to draw one card. Still not Vilia, unfortunately. Next up after that's the entire first phase. Next up after that is the planning phase where basically you play uh, allies or um, attachments out there. Now, we don't really have a one cost attachment that we can use. So there's nothing we can really do yet. So now we do what's known as the questing phase. The questing phase is how we get main points on here and kind of move on from the game. Now, the key is if we quest, if we attack or defend, we're going to have to exhaust characters to do those things. And the problem is when you exhaust, you can't unexhaust till the end of the round. So you can't, generally speaking, unless there's ready up cards, you can't use those same cards over and over and over. So we have to be careful with who we quest with. So I'm going to quest with Elrond. We have to go against the threat that's in the staging area. And currently there's only two. Elrond can quest for three. So I think we're going to keep just Elrond going. So it's going to be three. Um, I put another dial out here so that we can see it. I'm questing for three against two plus, oh, doomed one. So doom means we put um, one threat on us right away. And then we reveal each player must choose. Either raise your threat by one for each questing character you control or discard a questing character you control. Well, we can't discard a questing character you control. So we, well, hold on, wait, wait. Do we have a card that can cancel this? We could cancel the when revealed effect. We still get the doomed. Now nah, we'll let this go up one more. That's all right. We'll take the spider just in case. That, so that goes in the discard pile. So that's that entire questing phase, right? Done. Now we do the travel phase. You can see there's this box here for active location. We can move one location out of the staging area to the active location. And usually there's text on it and sometimes we have to do things. Um, so while ease of record is the active location, encounter card effects cannot be canceled. We're going to make that the active location. Now this is important because the threat we talked about that was here is no longer applied when we quest, which is really nice. So, but we do need two questing points to get through this location and basically discover everything before we can start questing in the main scheme. It sounds a little complicated, but it makes sense in a bit. So now we do the encounter phase. There's nothing to encounter up here. So we don't, we skip all that. We skip combat because there's nothing going on. And then we reach the refresh phase. So everyone refreshes. Our threat goes up by one. It's back up to 38. And we start with step one over again. So everyone gets one resource and then we draw a card. Still not Vilia. Ugh. Okay. So. Oh, there's no maximum hand size. I should mention that. Like, you can have as many cards in your hand as you want. Uh, that doesn't matter. All right. Everyone's still really expensive. But we can do unexpected courage. So we're going to spend two resources to put that, I think, on Elrond. Um, or Aragorn. If we do Aragorn, he can quest and then ready up, which I think we're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to put Unexpected Courage on him. We'll push these up just a little bit so you can see. All right, cool. So that's that. Uh, that was the planning phase, right? We spent we spent some resources to play a card, right? Two resources. The spheres have to match. So this is blue and blue. They have real names like Spirit, but we'll just call them blue for now so it makes it easy. So that's how we pay for that. All right, so now we actually have to quest again. I will do three and two, which is five total. So we'll get five out there so you can see it. Five, and we quest against uh, a two. It's another Eves of Mirkwood. So it's three total that would uh, succeed. So two goes on to here. So we would minus, minus two from the threat that's here, minus the two because we got rid of this one. So we have one point left over. So we put one point on the main quest. Cool. And then now we can do the travel phase. So once again, we're going to travel to get this out of there. There's no enemies, so we can't do any combat or anything like that. We're going to raise our threat by one, and then we ready up. And you can see kind of the pattern of how the game works. Um, it's relatively straightforward. But it doesn't mean it's easy. Just straightforward. All right, draw a card. It's Glorfindel, which, oh my gosh, this just does not help. We we're getting all of our expensive cards and no Vilia, which is what we need. And we're not going to do anything where we can see through our deck. We have cards in there that let us go through our deck as well. But unfortunately, we don't have that. So Elrond can pay for any, um, can pay for allies from any uh, sphere. They're, they're called spheres. Um, but we still can't afford it. And Stuart of Gondor, the only way we get that in is from putting a villain in. Ugh, okay, this is rough. All right, so we're not going to play anything. We're going to once, oops, once again, quest uh, with five total points. 
And the bad card is when revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged in the staging area. If no enemy was returned this way, surprising speed gains surge and doomed one. Oh no. All right. So we, this goes up to 40, which is not great. And we surge. Um, okay. So spider den four. Quick act or quest action. Uh, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and put it in the play, engage with you, and then discard spider den, and then shuffle the encounter deck. Any player may trigger this effect. All right. So it has four on it. We have five. So we could put one quest onto the main thing. All right. That's that. Again, we can't travel now because there's already a card there. And then this one is just going to sit here um, because we can't travel to two locations at the same exact time. We have no encounters and like that. So this is going to go 41. We have a lot of uh, threat on that, which stinks. And then everyone readies up. So now everything goes up. Now we do have an ace up our sleeves with this. Aragorn has a refresh action where once per game, we can go back to our starting threat level, which is down to 35. So if we have to do that, uh, we can during the refresh section. All right, so we put everything there. We get a card, it's still not what we need, but we can put this ally in. Actually, we could put a few allies in, probably. Um, let's see. Let's do Furial. She costs five, so we'll do two, three, four, five. So she can come in. That's it for right now. We'll put her in. So after she commits to a quest, look at the top card of the encounter deck, then you may discard uh, the looked card. So that's nice. All right, so now for questing, we're going to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight total, because we're going to do that. So after she commits to a quest, so she has committed to a quest, um, we get to look at the top card of the deck. It is a spider. I'm going to discard that. I'm going to discard this. We have to deal with that. So eight against four. And it's X. X is the number of locations in the staging area. Each player may must discard one random card from their hand to travel here. Okay. So that is four plus two is um let me think. Uh six minus that. So that's one would go here and then one onto the main. So we discard this, we travel, and now we could do the traveling phase. Uh, I'm gonna put the spiders in. Spider Den. We're gonna travel that. Still no combat. This goes up to 42. We refresh. Do we want to get it back down to 35? Um, we could get it back down to 35. Now we can go a little higher. That's okay. I think I think we're doing okay. We still have some attacks. We still we still have some aces up our sleeve. Come on, Vilya. Hasty stroke. Jeez. All right. What we can do though. is we can play Glorfindel. So we're going to spend three from here and two from here. Now, the reason, again, we could do two from here is because... Let me take the one off and I'll show it. Um, after, I'm sorry, you may spend resources from Elrond's resource pool to pay for all the symbols allies. And he is the one other symbol that's not listed, so obviously you can pay for that. All right, so Glorfindel, we can discard a card to ready him up, which we may do with Stuart or Gondor, but we'll see. All right, so now we're going to quest 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 total. So we're questing for a good amount now, which is nice. So we have uh, 1, and then this is the player with the highest threat level attached to this card to one of their heroes. Can we, do we have a cancel for this or no? Yeah, okay. So what we'll do, oh no, we have no blue resources. No, okay. Shoot. All right. So the player with the highest threat level attaches this card to one of their heroes. Counts as a condition. Attached hero does not ready during the refresh phase unless you pay two resources. Ooh. All right. We'll put this on him right now because uh, we haven't really exhausted him. So that stinks. But we'll do that right now. So we quested for 11, 10. So we're going to go through this. Um, so that's 10 total minus that is six. So this is up to eight. Eight on there, only one more. Uh, now we could travel. We're going to do that. We must discard one card at random from her hand to travel there. So we'll do that. Shuffle that up. One, two, three. Uh, Glorfindel, which is fine because Glorfindel can actually be played from our discard pile. So, And we already have one that's out there. So that's fine. All right. That is that. We can't combat, so we'll ready everything up. We'll bring this up to 43. All right, next round. Keep one on him for sure so we can actually play our cancel card. Come on, Vilya. 
No, but Master of the Forge isn't bad, actually. So, now we're going to play a card. Uh, planning phase. We're going to use two from Aragorn. Uh, we can exhaust Master of the Forge to search for the top five cards of your deck for one attachment and add it to your hand. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Look for attachment. No, no attachment yet. So uh, we can't get that. So shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Um, we have. To, I'm pretty sure you have to shuffle regardless. So at least now we know the Vilia was in the top five. We're going to keep doing that to keep searching and shuffling through our deck, which is fine. So let's quest with fewer amount of people. Let's do Freya, the six, seven, eight. We're going to quest with eight. Now, when she quests, we can look at the top card. It's two. After you travel the forest gate, the first player may draw two cards. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that. that. That's good. So it's going to be eight against eight, two. Cool. So that's six. Travel that. This advances now. So we have now completed this quest, so we got to bring in the next quest, which says, The Goblin Trail leads you deeper into the dark forest of Mirkwood. The enemy has a significant lead, but the sign of their passing is easy to follow. You may yet overtake them as you press on. When revealed, each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a forest location and adds, adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. Uh, this stage cannot be defeated unless one copy of Goblin Trail is in the victory display. All right. What do we have to put? Forest location? We'll do the eaves in Mirkwood. That's fine. All right. So now this needs 12 and we need one copy of Goblin Trail. All right, cool. So now we're going to travel to the Forest Gate. So after you travel to the Forest Gate, the first player may draw two cards. That is what we're going to do. So we're going to draw two and still no Vilia. But we got Water of Healing, which is actually kind of nice. All right, cool. Combat, we can't do anything. So we ready up once again. This goes up to 44. We're going to keep that there. Okay. Refresh everyone. Draw a card. Unexpected Courage. That's nice, but I don't want to do that. So that's fine. All right. So we got three, four, five on green. All right. We'll put in Warden of Healing. Oops. Warden of Healing. Actually, no, no, no. Before we play Warden of Healing. Um, we won't do that. So what we'll do first... We'll exhaust Master of the Forge. Look at top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Vilya, here we go. All right, and then these all get shuffled. Now, the reason that this is important is because you attach the Elrond, he gets him a spirit resource icon, which is fine. But we can exhaust Elrond and Vilya to look at the top card of our deck. And if we can play it, we just put it in, which is kind of bonkers strong. So we have to use two. So we'll use one. Two to play Vilya. And it's neutral, so we can use whatever uh, resources we want. So now we can exhaust Elrond and Vilya. And I have two different uh, exhaust tokens. I don't have enough of the like the fancier ones, so I use some of the other ones. So we're going to use this one and Vilya to reveal the top card of your deck. You can immediately play it or put it into play or put into play the reveal card for no cost, uh, if able. So it is... Oh my gosh. Okay, so we actually can't do that. It's one of the few events that we have so that goes on the bottom unfortunately all right then everything else we're going to keep where it is that's fine now we're going to quest we'll quest with her six seven eight so we're going to quest with eight we can look at the top card because her ability it is spiders um do we want to fight spiders i don't want to fight spiders yet so we're going to do that so it's eight against two Deal two damage to a character you control. Uh, we're going to do it to Glorfindel. So, that is that. So, it's eight against two. That's going to leave us with six. Um, I'm sorry. Eight against two leaves us with six. This uh, takes four of it. So, we put two onto the main quest. Cool. Now, we can travel. We will travel there. We can't combat anyone. So, we don't do anything there. So, we ready everyone up. All right. Cool. One threat goes on. Probably next round, we're going to lower that back to the starting amount. All right, next card is Jubyar. All right, cool. So now we can play. The first thing we're going to do is exhaust Elrond to play Gandalf. Let's go. All right, so Gandalf, 
will allow us to reduce our threat by five, which is what we're going to do. So reduces our threat by five. Um, I don't care about attachments as much. Yeah, we might as well do it. So we can look at this, see if we find attachment card. One, two, three, four. We have a few attachments we can maybe use, uh, but none are there. So that's fine. All right, so let's do three. He only has three still. He has three. We could put a Warden of Healing in for two. Might as well. Nothing else yet. Okay, that's fine. Now we can quest. We'll quest four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Quest 11. We get to look at the top card. It is each player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and put it in play. Nope, we'll get rid of that. All right, so 11 against deal two damage to a character you control. We'll do it to Gandalf because he's going to go away soon anyway. So we quest 11 minus two uh, is nine total. So that brings us up to 11. So we're one away from finishing this, but we still need goblin trail in the victory display. So that is that. Um, we don't need to do that anymore. So we will ready everyone up. Gandalf goes away at the end of the round, unfortunately. This goes up by one. All right, cool. Then we start over again. We'll do one, 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 draw the card. Elfstone. So we can put this on the active quest and we can put one ally in the play from her hand. <sighs> Which could be nice, maybe. Could be good. All right, let's use Elrond again with Vilya. Top card is another Gandalf. Okay, so we'll just lower this by five, which brings it down to 36. Interesting, interesting. Let us put Jubyar into play. So we'll use two... Three, four, five resources. So he's in play. Uh, nothing else yet. Okay, we have a pretty decent board built out now. So we'll do two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 questing points. So we'll do 13, we get to look at the top card, which is a goblin or goblin runners and has surge. We're gonna get rid of that. All right, so 13 against spiders. All right, they are going to engage us. Um, so it's going to come in. 13 minus 2 is 11. So this is going to go up by 23. Now we don't advance because we need to look for Goblin Trail. So now we do an engagement check. So his threat is lower than our threat. Based, or his, his engagement check cost, which is the 34, which is up there at the top, is lower than this. So he comes into play and he's going to get a face down bad card. So after he comes into play, we have to exhaust a character you control. Um, we'll exhaust this one, Master of the Forge. So he's going to attack for three. We, I would normally defend with him. But then we have to pay two resources to ready him up, which is really annoying. So we're not going to do that yet. So we'll use our guy over here to defend three. So after he exhausts the defend and attack, um, we could do the player action or we do the response after we exhaust the defend and enemy attack discard one face on shadow card from a non-unique enemy um, so this is a non-unique enemy so we'll discard that shadow card so he's swinging for three we defend all of it we're good to go oops sorry table was blurred hopefully that wasn't blurred for too long all right so basically what we did was we exhaust him and uh, after he uh, def uh, exhausts the defend for an attack, then we do the response, right? Cool. So now we have to attack him. We can ready up Aragorn with Unexpected Courage, and then he can swing for three and deal two damage. So we swing for three. He has one shield, so he defends one, and then two damage goes on, but we haven't knocked him out yet. Cool. And then we ready everyone up. Now a threat goes up by one. All right, threat goes up by one. All right, cool. Gandalf leaves play, unfortunately. 
And then he gets a resource, which means we can ready him up, which will be nice. And then we draw a card, which is Master of the Forge. All right, so. Do we exhaust Elrond and whatnot? I think we do. We'll exhaust Elrond, Vilya, and put in Gildor. Cool. So. We can look at the top three cards of our deck to switch one of those cards with the card from your hand and return the three cards to the top of your deck in any order, which is really nice. Um, so we're going to do that, actually. So we're going to look at the top three cards of your deck. So, uh, okay. These are what the top three cards of our deck look like. So now we can switch one of those cards with a card from your hand. We're going to switch Steward of Gondor with Elrond's count, uh, Council. And then we can return them back in any order we want. So I'm going to draw Elrond's Council, and then I can Vilya in Steward of Gondor. So that's huge. As long as we don't draw another card accidentally or something. All right. So he's exhausted. We're going to quest with Glorfindel and Vilya. Get to look at the top card. Um, yeah, we do want that one. So we're questing for six. So we're just going to quest with those six and we get, Hey, a four, six minus four or six minus two is four. So this goes up to 27. We really don't have to keep track anymore, but as well, it doesn't hurt. And then we're going to travel. So after you travel to the force, the first player may draw two cards. I'm not going to do that. We don't want to actually draw those cards. All right. The spider is going to attack us. So once again, we're going to defend with Jubyar. Um, so we exhaust the fan. We could discard one face down shadow card, which is going to be this one. He attacks for three, does no damage. Now we are going to exhaust Aragorn for three. And that's it. So yeah, we do three, minus two, does two damage, knocks out the spider. We're good to go. Cool. All right, and then we ready up. Unfortunately, we're still looking for goblin tracks, which is not great. The stage cannot be defeated unless one, at least one copy of Goblin Trail, or Goblin Trail, not Goblin Tracks. Goblin Trail's in the victory display. Have we seen a goblin trail yet? Oh, there was one that was there. Okay. So we have to like, kind of look hard for that. So we refreshed everything. This goes up by one. Cool. Now, resources. One goes here. One goes here. And one goes here. Now, we know we're going to draw Elrond's council. Right? Cool. Now, we can use Elrond and Vilya. To play next card, which is going to be Steward of Gondor. So now we can put Steward of Gondor on Elrond. The reason being is because we can exhaust this, and now he gets two more resources to his pool. So he's going to be a resource machine now. So he's going to get a ton of resources every single round to pay for different allies and stuff. Um, so I want to use all five to play this bird. Bird's going to be an attacker. So four, five. We're going to do Elrond's Council. Um, all right, so we're going to play Elrond's Council. So if you control a unique Noldor, which we do, that is Elrond himself, um, give, yeah, it's a zero cost card. Uh, give, I'm sorry, uh, give another character plus one. Um, the, the words escaping me, but the, the way to quest until the end of the phase and lower your threat by three. So we're going to lower our threat by three. So it brings us down to seven, six, five, 35. Then we're going to put one uh, willpower. That's what it is. Willpower onto Aragorn. Cool. Is that it? That's all we want to do? Oh, we could play Unexpected Courage. We already have that there. All right, we'll do that. That's fine. All right, so now it's time to quest a bit. Um, we need just enough to get past that four. So we'll do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll quest eight, which is fine. See what the card is. It's not Goblin Track, so I just want to get rid of this to try to get to Goblin Tracks faster. A Goblin Orc Sniper comes in. All right, so he's going to come in. Eight minus two is six, so that clears out this, and we put two more on here. It's up to 29. So now, 
During the encounter phase, players cannot option engage Goblin Sniper if there are other enemies in the staging area, which is not. If Goblin Sniper is in the staging area at the end of the combat phase, each player deals one damage to a character they control. I don't want to keep dealing with that over and over and over. So what we're going to do is we're going to optionally engage him, right? Even though his threat level is way higher than what we have, we can optionally engage him. So we're going to optionally engage him. It's going to come into two. And there's no other enemies, so that's why we can do that. And then... Jubyar is going to uh, defend. So after he exhausts defend and attack, discard one face down shadow card from a non-unique enemy. He's still non-unique, so we get rid of that card. And he only has two life. So we're going to ready up Aragorn. Also, I didn't put enough willpower on. This is plus one, so that should really be up to 30. He's going to swing for three, knock out the goblin. We're good to go. All right, so all this resets now. Refresh everything. And then one threat goes on. So that's up to 26. Nice. All right. We're pretty we're pretty set, right? We're pretty, pretty good. We just need to get the one one card we're looking for. We can start fighting things now too if we really want. All right. So we draw a card. It's another Jubia. Uh we'll do another Master of the Forge. Why not? Because it's having more blockers is nice. I'm not gonna use Vilya right now. I don't think there's any real reason to. Because um, we have the cards we really need. We have a pretty nice spaced out deck here. And we can quest more with him. Or defend or attack or whatever. Oh, we have to exhaust Gondor. Or uh, Gondor or Steward of Gondor to get two more resources. I guess we could put one more attack guy. Actually, we'll put one more attack guy out there. So he costs four. So we'll do two, three, four. All right, cool. All right. Let us then quest. So we'll quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Quest eight. See what this card is. It's not goblin track, so we'll get rid of it. We go eight against, uh, okay, a surge orc. Uh, when revealed, each player returns one enemy engaged with them to the staging area. If there is no enemy who's returned this way, surprisingly, he gains surge and doomed one. So we get one more threat, gain surge. Um, another Goblin Scavengers. When revealed, discard the top card of each player's deck until the end of the phase. Increase Goblin Scavengers uh, threat by this total printed cost of all cards discarded this way. Uh, so that's two. So that's three, four against our eight. We're going to put four more on here. All right. So we're going to engage both of these guys because we have to. Um, and they each get a shadow card. Cool. So. Jubyar is going to block this one. He discards the shadow card, takes three, does no damage. That's fine. He's going to attack for one. Master of the Forge is going to block one plus no shadow effects. So Master of the Forge lives, which is sweet. And then Aragorn's going to ready up and swing three to knock him out. He's done. And then we need to swing another three. Does three, or it does three minus the one shield and then two life. So knocks him out. And then we ready everyone up. You can see how strong Elrond can be. It's a little slow in the beginning because you gotta be you gotta be careful with everything. And this deck has pretty high threat, which just makes me a little nervous for when I actually play the real thing on on Tuesday. Um, but you can see kind of how it works and, and whatnot. So, all right, so one there, one there, one there. Draw a card. Ah, oh, quick beam is sweet. All right, then we could do Steward of Gondor to put two more on. Oops, shoot. We are going to play Quick Beam, cost two. When he enters play, he enters Exhausted. And we could deal one damage to ready him up, which we are going to do. That's fine. We'll deal the one damage. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, we will keep searching through that encounter deck. I hope there's more than just one card. <laughs> So a quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, eight. We get to look at the top card. Uh, we're going to get rid of that. So the next one is Wild Wargs. After Wild Wargs engages you, discard the top card in the encounter deck. If that card is a goblin enemy, put it in play, engage with you. All right. So he has two against our eight, which is six. So this is up to 40 now. Still looking for the one card we need. He's going to engage us. So after Wild War engages you, discard the top card of the encounter deck. Okay. It's just, it's a forest. So that doesn't matter. So we don't put it in play engage with us. All right. So now this shadow card comes in with him. Jubyar is going to defend it. Don't be our victory. Okay, cool. 
No damage. He has four life, so we'll ready up Aragorn to swing three, six. Knocks out the warg. Okay, easy. Now we ready up. I remember people complaining about this with this scenario. They're like, trying to fish this one thing is a pain. And I can tell why. Back card is another elf. Or not back card. Uh, card is another elf stone. I'll do Steward of Gondor. Get two more resources. Uh, I don't even think we can play anyone. Yeah, we can't. Though we will use Elrond's Council. Put one willpower there. And we lower our threat by three. So it's down, back down to 36, which is really nice. Okay, we'll quest again with three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. We'll get to look at this card. Okay, we do want this. This is the goblin trail. So we do want that. So this flips over. Three against that is six total. All right, cool. All right, and then this just shuffles back up. So reveal the top card of the encounter deck to travel here. That when goblin trail leaves play as an explore location, play six progress on the current quest. All right, that's not going to be a problem. Give the Goblin Trail was the last card. Oops, we are blurry. Okay, hold on one second. Let me just make sure that this is focusing all right. All right, cool. So we uh, did questing. So now we're going to travel. So reveal the top card in the encounter deck to travel here. It's going to be the orc thing, which is fine. So we get to travel there. So we just have to quest through that and we will do well. We're going to optionally combat this guy. Uh, there's no other enemy, so we can do that. Jabiar is going to defend, gets rid of his shadow card. And then we uh, attack him. So we just will do three and knocks him out. Cool. And we're ready up. But at least we have progress now. At least we have progress. We are good now. This comes off. This goes up by one. Also, I know I'm mispronouncing a bunch of names, so I apologize for that before people get mad at me. All right, we can finally defend with him because we can spend too easily to ready him up for a few rounds. One card is, hey, the other Vilia. There's actually a third one in there too that we just haven't seen yet. All right. Planning phase. There's really nothing to attach to. Uh, I don't care about Elfstone right now. Unexpected Courage. We could put that on Elrond for fun. Because why not? Elrond also does Steward of Gondor. They put two more on here because why not? Um, okay. So now we're going to quest. So we're going to quest for a lot. So we're going to quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think 12 is good. Yeah, let's do 12. All right, questing 12. We get to look at the top card. This is fine. It's the abandoned camp. That's fine. So 12, uh, my, 12 minus 2 is 10. Defeats this. This now goes in the victory display. All right. So we finally have completed 2B. Now, 3A. War revealed. The first player adds a set aside goblin troop to the staging area. Each player then searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a goblin enemy and adds it to the staging area. So goblin troop comes into there. And then we look for an enemy. We're going to put the sniper back in. So I think that's okay. I don't mind that too much. Then on this side, uh, the story. The goblins are aware of your pursuit and form a, a rear guard to confront you while the others retreat in their secret highway. You must defeat this troop before you can continue your chase. The stage cannot be defeated while goblin troop is in play. When the stage is defeated, your heroes discover a trail to the secret lair and win the game. So we still need six questing points and to defeat the goblin troop. So put that there. That's back down to zero. Cool. All right, requested. Now we have to travel. What is this? Travel to the band camp. The first player discards the top card of their deck. If it's that card, is an ally put in the play under their control. Uh, we can't put it because it's it's a unique card. All right, so discard the top card of the encounter deck. If it's an enemy, add it to the staging area. It's not an enemy. All right, so that goes there. All right, so now... We're going to uh, get both of these. So cannot have attachments while a group of troop is assigned to you. Each other goblin enemy gets plus one, plus one. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So what we're going to do is he's going to swing 
for three now because of him. I'm going to defend with him and get rid of his boost card. And Master of Forge is going to defend against him. Now he's going to swing for five plus nothing. Knocks out Master of Forge. He's gone. That's fine. Now it's our turn. So Aragorn's going to ready up. We are going to attack this guy first. He has three defense, six life. So Aragorn is going to swing for three. We need to do nine total, basically, right? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Knocks out this guy. He is gone. He is done. Then him, he just has two life with no defense. Gildor is going to attack. Knock him out. Cool. Good. Now we can ready up. And now we just quest really hard and we win the game. So like I said, pretty pretty decent deck here. Threat starts off pretty high and it's a little bit of a slow build. So that, that's the one rough part. But past that, I, th I think it's all right. We never use Bear Gorn or whatever his name is to get the quest points down, unfortunately. All right, Anabor, we can't use him. We'll use Steward of Gondor to put two more tokens on because why not uh nothing else we could do okay cool so now we quest we just quest really hard um so we need to hit six on that so we're gonna do three four five i think that was like that five six seven eight nine ten eight eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen seems pretty good we can look at the top card it's a spider we can still win right the stage cannot be defeated while Goblin Troop is in play. When the stage is defeated, the heroes discover the trail. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we can put that in the play. So that's minus two. So we're down to 12. 12 minus three is nine. Which means we put nine on here and we have one. So even though that there are enemies and whatnot, it does not matter. We did enough questing points to succeed. So we have one that way. Uh, we don't have to try to take them out unless this card said something or unless one of these cards said something. Then we would have to do it. But that's it. We've won the scenario. Like I said, it's not... Bad. Once you're built out, it's really good. If we got hit with harder attacks, like with uh, Jubyar, uh, if he got knocked out, it would have been okay because we have other copies of him to put in the play, which would have been nice. So we could have done a lot of different things. Elrond was built out the way we'd like to see him. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty pretty happy with that. It was pretty pretty decent. But hopefully you enjoyed that playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing that. This is a kind of an easier quest, so um, we were able to do pretty well on it. Uh, if the camera ever went blurry and whatnot and you couldn't see things for a little bit, I apologize. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I would like to do Sunday morning coffee and board games more often. I don't know how often we'll be able to do it, but if we could do it now and again, that'd be nice. Um, and maybe, you know, that's how we do some of our Lord of the Rings stuff too, is that we play campaigns of Lord of the Rings and, and go through different things. Uh, there is a second part to this quest, which I don't think is also that hard. So maybe we'll do that in another week or two. Probably not, maybe not this next week coming up and maybe the one after i don't know we'll figure it out because i got a lot of travel coming up but we could try this deck again and see if we make it further with everything so anyway hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully if you made it this far make sure to like subscribe all that fun stuff uh if you want to support the channel and become a member it starts at 99 cents feel free to do that down below in the join button on the desktop on the app i don't think it works i'm not really sure but anyway hopefully you enjoyed it appreciate you all being here see y'all next time